In this video, we're going to talk about the discriminant. So in the quadratic formula, the discriminant is the expression b squared minus 4ac. So the expression that is beneath the square root, beneath the radical. Evaluating the discriminant can tell us the type of roots that we have for a quadratic equation, so the types of solution. It can also tell us how many solutions we have. So it tells us both the number and the type of solutions. If the discriminant b squared minus 4ac is less than zero, so if it's negative, we're going to have two complex solutions. If b squared minus 4ac equals zero, then we're going to have one real solution. And if b squared minus 4ac is positive, so greater than zero, we will have two real solutions. So let's take a look at the equation we're given. Let's see if we can use the discriminant to determine the number, number and type of solutions, and then we'll use the quadratic formula to solve the equations and see if that agrees with our discriminant. So we have x squared minus 4x plus 13 equals 0. So it's in standard form, so a the coefficient of the x squared term is 1, b, the coefficient of the x term, the linear term, is negative 4, and c, the constant term, is 13. So b squared minus 4ac, well b squared, that's negative 4 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 13. You may want to pause the video, see if you can work this out on your own, and then figure out which of the three categories it fits into. All right, so negative 4 squared, negative 4 times negative 4 is 16, minus 4 times 1 is 4, times 13 is 52, and then 16 minus 52 is negative 36. So we get a discriminant of negative 36. So our discriminant is less than zero, so we have two complex solutions according to the discriminant. So let's actually work this out using the quadratic formula and see if that agrees. So the quadratic formula, recall from the previous video, x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And we've already identified what a, b, and c are. So let's fill in those values into the formula. So we would have x equals negative negative 4 plus or minus the square root of, I've already worked out the discriminant to be negative 36, so I'm not going to reinvent the wheel and redo my work. I'm just going to put negative 36 in there. And then all over 2 times a is 1. So let's carry on. So negative negative 4, that's 4, plus or minus. Well, the square root of negative 36 well, that is a complex number. So square root of negative 36, that would be 6i. And then 2 times 1 is 2. Now notice there that there is a common factor in the numerator. So we can factor 2 goes into both 4 and into 6. So we can reduce this fraction. So notice that the coefficients there, 4 and 6, are both divisible by 2 and so is the denominator. So we can split that up there and reduce our answer. So 4 divided by 2 plus or minus 6 divided by 2 i. And that would be x equals 2 plus or minus 3i. So your two solutions to that quadratic equation there are 2 plus 3i and 2 minus 3i. 
So yes, indeed, we ended up with two complex solutions. And if you'll recall from the square root property videos, when we have complex solutions there to quadratic equations, they're gonna be conjugates of one another, and these are. So these are conjugates of one another, meaning that they're exactly the same except for that middle sign. All right, in the last video on quad the quadratic formula, we will run through some additional examples there just to make sure we have the concept down.